Rolling start then for the Muscle Car Challenge from Kota. Away they go, up the 133 feet. That is turn one at Kota. Good start from Shane Lewis. On board with Tony Bufamonte. Oh, Bufamonte gets turned around. And a big melee at the top of the hill involving the pole man and several others. Shane Lewis leads from Gar Robinson. Misha Goikenberg in third place. But also casualties there. Matos, Legacy Jr. And the safety car came out. But then Shane Lewis, the leader, also in trouble. Mechanical problems for him. He too was out of the race. More drama into turn 12, this time involving the number 43, that's Sabato and Kurt Voigt. The number 43, Sabato, throwing up smoke as Misha Goikenberg goes for the lead on Gar Robinson. Robinson would attack back at him as these two went at each other. Here we go through turn two. And a brilliant effort from Gar Robinson, and these two would fight wheel to wheel for the entire race. Gar Robinson leading for a while, then Goikenberg leading for a while. Both of them desperate for a victory. Gar Robinson, of course, from San Antonio in Texas, and the two Camaros went at it for the entire race. Gar Robinson taking the lead, Goikenberg would take it back. And then in the finish, a photo finish by just 0.06 more, the closest finish in Trans Am history.